Hey folks, remember in my other video, if you just saw it, about Paula Broadwell, where I said that now we are at a stage in our lives where we're really learning that no one's perfect? Well, here's another example, and unfortunately it applies to Hope Solo, one of my favorites, and you know I'm a Hope Solo fan if you follow my videos regularly. I still am. But Hope went out and got married to Jeremy Stevens, ex-Seattle Seahawks tight end, ex-Buccaneers tight end, who has a mile-long rap sheet. Now look, no one's perfect. I've got DUIs, Paris Hilton does, John Gruden, the former coach of the Raiders, does. He got it when he was coaching the Raiders. But assaulting a woman, accusations of rape, fights with bouncers, that's Jeremy Stevens. And I think, as I counted, this guy's been arrested nine times and he's 33 years old, something like that. And he's got issues with the law, runs with law, going all the way back to high school. And here, I don't know if she thinks she can fix this guy or what. Maybe she knew him at the University of Washington because they're only two years apart and they both went to Washington. I don't know. But the details, as I understand them, are this. At 3.45 in the morning, Monday, police were called by Marcus Solo, Hope Solo's brother, because there was an altercation. Apparently there were eight very intoxicated people at Hope's house, and allegedly, according to Hope Solo's brother Marcus, he had to use a stun gun to ward off some uninvited guests. No one ever saw these guests. They left. But what the police did see when they arrived at Hope's house, and how do I know it's Hope's house, even though the news organization has not pinpointed as Hope's house? Simple. Look at this photograph. This is what the Seattle television program put up during the news report about Hope Solo. Now look at this one. This photograph is of the house that Hope bought in Kirkland, Washington. Same house. Therefore what? It was Hope's house. This happened at Hope Solo's house in Kirkland, Washington. Okay. Now, blood was on Hope on her arm. They said she has a laceration on her elbow. Jeremy Stevens had blood on his shirt. There was blood on the banister, blood on the floor, blood. And the problem is that no one will talk, and then Hope was described by police as being uncooperative and argumentative, which wouldn't be the first time she's been accused of being argumentative, but... She was also intoxicated. Hope is very lucky that police didn't decide to take her in because they felt maybe she needed to detox. Of course, it was at her house. She's very lucky. Instead, because Jeremy Stevens said they were having an argument regarding where they were going to live, Florida or Washington, after they were married that day on Tuesday, they took him in on $10,000 bail. Now, you only have to come up with a thousand dollars to get out that's ten percent of the bail amount right so he's out of jail but then hope has to sit in court and watch her man be treated like a common brother criminal well which is basically what she picked out i don't know what's going through her head i cannot fathom that a friend of mine just says well she's crazy i mean i don't know i one thing i forgot about hope is and i tweeted this to her hey hope Stop addressing people who attack you on Twitter. You can be really nice to Hope, and it like, kind of goes through one ear and out the other. She doesn't care. But if you're mean to Hope, she loves it. And there's, there's something going on there that will lead her to get in this kind of situation, and I hope it works out for her. Because the other way, we've already seen one scene of what can happen again in the future. Why? What's the rush? Are you, Hope, are you pregnant? Is that why you rushed to the altar so quickly? In a few months, we're going to see you starting seeing a bump from you? Wow. I I'm just guessing. This why so fast? Why not just give it some time? I'm just wondering. It's also strange. It, it really is. Maybe she's pregnant. Who knows?